Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to episode number four of Soccer Ban, the RPG. Uh, last off, we solved the puzzles and we made it into like this little area here, which um, apparently is the living room. So we got some decorative pots and things. Old map used to belong to my grandfather. Mum can tell very enthusiastic about Lee, yet she rarely touches it. So wait, am I I'm in my house? I'm in my house. Is that what I'm led to believe here? Father must have been writing something, but his handwriting makes it virtually illegible. It's a book on applied mathematics in the economy and far too difficult to understand. It's a book on okay, so both are the same. So all sorts of academic books from the looks of it, mainly focus on mathematics and economy. Door leads to the toilet. Well, can I not go to the toilet? I guess not. Such a nice piano. I'm only allowed to play with, it with my mother, who taught me everything she knows. All right, let's go and talk to... Good morning, Dad. Good morning, Lewis. I'm sorry if I interrupted your studies, but I'll be off to school now. No, not at all. And that's fine, Lewis. Learn a lot. I will. See you this afternoon. Bye, Lewis. You can go now. Okay, I will. You just go to school, Lewis. I'll keep studying here. Okay, so... Off we go. Oh, Lewis, before we go, you should know that I'll be hosting a party here tonight. Again? Trying to make too big a mess at school, will you? You ought to be presentable this evening. That's... that's fine, Dad. Now you go on to school. All right. Uh, okay. What's this? Am I finally free from wherever I was? I see people, a great many of them. They can tell me where I am and above all, could get help and save me. Oh man, I am ever so relieved that the ordeal is finally over. It's oddly quiet though. So, I guess nobody's talking. Let's get through a maze of people. Man, how, how far does this freaking... Oh my goodness. How far does this room go? It's a maze. It's amazing. Uh, let's try going up here. I can see a route through here. This is really odd. Nobody's saying anything. Might this not be the my way out? I don't even want to think about that. Surely there must be someone in this room who speaks to me. Please don't tell me I've got to go through that. Everybody. So that would be very tedious. That would be ridiculously tedious. I have faith, though, in you, my Castro. But uh, it's not something you would make. Oh, and I went the wrong way. Kidding. Jeez. Is that... Tom? Is that you? Lewis? Thank God. At last, someone who had to answer me. How have you been? Holding up? Fine, I guess. Those puzzles with the block pushing all over and really need... So again, those puzzles with the block pushing and all that really need to get used to. Yeah, they do. Has anyone here spoken to you? To me, they haven't said a single word. Why aren't they listening? They could rescue us. I don't think if anything will be great help, I'm afraid. Why would you say that? This isn't obvious. They're mannequins. I'm most skillfully crafted at that. They aren't truly alive, nor have we found a way out. You really think so? I'm absolutely certain. That's rather unfortunate, to say the least. Do you think there is any way for us to reach each other? Can you get past the mannequins? I'm afraid not. I've been stuck in this corner for quite some time now. No doors, nothing. You managed to solve all those puzzles so quickly? I'm not as stupid as I look. Cracking codes is simply not my thing. I would agree. I'm, I'm more with Tom. The crankheads are my thing. So what should we do now? Maybe you should continue exploring your side of the room. It appears you have a lot of space over there. Oh, okay. I thought I was rather having to leave you again, especially so soon after reuniting. It's fine, Lewis. I won't be going anywhere, since I'm stuck here anyway. All right, then. I'll be right back. All right, so... I wonder if the feeling something's not right here. 
Maybe I'm just starting to lose my mind. Paranoia must be setting in more rapidly than expected. Okay, who's this, like, sat at the top table? Let me... Uh... Gotta go down. So many characters. Welcome. Sir, you can talk to me? Of course I can, Lewis. H how do you know my name? Come now, you really thought I wouldn't know the names of those the children whose father is hosting this ter terrific conference? My father? Where is... This can't be right. I was abducted. There's no way my father can be amongst these unsettling mannequins. I'm sorry, sir, but you must have mistaken me for someone else. Namely, I am really lost, and... No, I'm quite confident I'm not mistaken. What's on your mind, my child? Are you lost? Yes, I have no idea where I am. A short while ago, I woke up in this creepy dungeon and had to solve a stupid riddle to escape. But then... Hush! If it's my help you want, you can have it. This room has two exits. One you use to enter the room, and another you may use to leave it again. I'm certainly in possession of the key to the latter. I am correct to assume it's your desire to leave this room as soon as possible? Uh, I guess so. But couldn't you just call the... Marvellous! In that case, I will hand you the key. Uh, okay. How kind of... The first, I would like you to answer a small question. It's rather straightforward, to be honest. The question I would like you to answer is... How many people are currently inside this room? Are you kidding? Why would I need to answer that? Besides, how on earth am I supposed to know the answer? It must be hundreds. Fear not, my child. As you know, your father being an important businessman, he has maintained close relationships with people from great many, from great many countries. As it happens, there are exactly three times as many native English speakers than there are native Germans. Right, so hold on one. So we've got English. So there's three times more than Germans. Furthermore, the number of native Mandarin speakers. So then we've got Mandarin. It's precisely three times the number Spanish. Did it say a uh, did it say precisely in the first one or not? I can't. Those are the only four languages spoken by the attendants of this conference. I thought the people here were in fact in fact mannequins. To your left, there are five men who have attempted to assist you in counting. And I dare this I dare say this. One of them has counted correctly. You must thank them for doing all the hard work, young lady. And one final piece of advice. I don't like hearing wrong answers. Now off you go. Return to me when you think you have found the correct answer, and the key to the exit will be yours. <sighs> Alright, the fact that it um, it's giving me a safe spot right there does not fill me with confidence. Yeah, exactly three. Alright, it's fine. So these people. I don't know things like this. The answer is 371. Let's keep things simple. In this room, there are 370. Three six nine. Alright, 368, and I guess the other guy is going to say it's 367. Three hundred and sixty-seven. Alright, so, one observation I've made is that around all the tables... Oh, no, actually. Observation's debunked. 
already. Jeez. Alright, so it's got to be a multiple of two. Which then leaves us with 370 or 368. The reason I say that is that the from my observation, there is four people stood around a table. And... There's four people stood around a table. And where they're, they're not stood around a table, there is two people stood together. Okay, I've not seen any exceptions to that anywhere. Now, initially, I was going with the hunch that there would be 368, given that um, people in the tables are... Yeah, so the, given that the people around the tables are in four, I was going to go initially with the multiple of four, which is 368, I think. Yeah, because it'd be 360. Yeah, 368. So, to back that up even further, if we think back to what we was told, there's three times as many English to German and three times as many Mandarin to Spanish. So, to me, for every three... Uh, of those people there is one we don't know what the relationship between English to Mandarin is we just assume it is the same um, it is a one-to-one -one relationship which means for every kind of thing there is going to be four people so I'm going with the answer I'm going with the multiple of four answer which is 368 yes we did lots better at this riddle <laughs> Ah, the man handed you a beautiful key. Thanks. Now off you go. You have no reason to remain present any longer. I silly hope you enjoyed my last little puzzle. Uh, I did, I guess. Bye. May our paths cross again, Lewis. All right, so before I go head out, though, I just do just want to kind of go and... See, observation is key. I do just want to go and see if I can talk to Tom again, possibly. Uh, see if he has anything different to tell us. Or maybe he's already gone. Who knows? Maybe he's not hanging around for us. Tom. Tom? Where might he have gone? He probably to wait right here. I don't know. I thought he waited over here. But yeah. Okay. Like I thought, he has gone already. Uh, but yeah, where has he gone? There is no other door. Maybe Tom's a figment of our imagination or something. I'm sure the story will unravel itself to us later. But yeah, I guess even without, um, like I was trying to like reason what I reason from what the guy told us. Um, even if we couldn't see any of these people sat around here, maybe I should go and thank that other dude. Who told us 368, which would be the second from the left. Don't, you're not talking now. Um, yeah, if, if you just apply the reasoning that for every three, every three of one, there is one of the other. That's like a group of four. So, yes, let's see if this good works. You turn the key and the lock opened. Sounds like a transformer. It just started to rain just after I it started to rain just after I arrived. The teacher, Miss Cooper, had tried to educate us about basic mathematical principles in vain. As I restlessly watched the teacher struggle in front of the classroom, I listened to the rhythmic raindrops landing on the window. It amazed me that sometimes a raindrop would fall for many minutes before reaching the ground, all the way from the clouds, floating miles above the surface. Clouds usually feel comf content with their position, towering over as mortals, unknowing of their finite existence. They mock us, blocking the sun and the stars and the moon, so that they take away our enjoyment of observing these distant worlds and to restrain our imagination and mun to the mundane down here. But every cloud at some point comes to realise its imminent demise. Lives can end. Nothing is meant to last forever. Then they cry. Their tears sweet to the mocked. Yet, they still annoy us. We are reminded of their presence, even when they have given up. What nerve. And after that falling for a long time, a tear happens to land, out of all places, on the window right in front of me, saving me from the suffocation envi suffocating environment of the classroom. Saving me from boredom. Saving me from myself. Those little, uh, those annoying little drops, the epitome of sadness, suddenly vowed to help me. 
but their power as a single little drop is limited. They cannot save me from everything. They can not save me from the unavoidable. Though sometimes the unavoidable should, should be welcomed. Next year, I'll be gone from this place. Next year, I will start to attend university and I will spit on these petty souls. Wow, okay. I'm just cleaning this mess up now. You just go home, Lewis. Okay. Can I... Some lining going on. Can I read any of these books? Clearly the school's not in a very good uh, uh, upkeep because there's like cracks on the floor and everything. Some kids threw stuff at the teacher just before the end of the class when she was facing the blackboard. She sheepishly asked for the perpetrator to come forward, but when nobody responded, she cast her down her gaze and continued to write. Interesting books. Read, it, read to read or arranged on these shelves. Unfortunately, one is not allowed to take them home. They are for breaks only. Get away, pathetic little... Should it? Wow, these people are nice, aren't they? Piss off, cockroach. Wow. Just go. Fine. Where do you think you're going? Me? I... Yeah, you, of course, you nerd. I... Nothing. I was just planning to go... Nothing, really. I... Oh, dear. Miss... Miss Cooper! Miss? Ha ha ha, you utter retard. Did you really think she was going to do anything? Especially for someone like you. Such an ugly little pest. Anyone? Can anyone please help? Oh, look, guys. She's calling for help. Maybe your friends will come to rescue. I didn't see no friends nowhere. As long as you can't be see, as long as you can't see into her imagination, you won't be seeing anything anytime soon. You're such a weirdo. Yeah, that's what's up with the fake clothes anyway. You're just too poor to afford any proper clothing. Why don't you just slip into something more comfortable, like a coma? Wow, this wow, seriously, these 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 kids are horrible, man. Wow. Ooh, even I felt that one. How are you, Lewis? Are you fine? I. Uh, are you gonna cry now? You're going to cry. Come on, show us those tears. There you go. Cry like a little baby. Just like you are. You're going to tell your parents when you get back to that shed you call a house? Do you really think her parents care? Do you really think anyone cares about her? Your parents even gave you a boy's name because all they wanted was a boy. But instead, they got you. You were a disappointment from the moment you were born. Nobody will ever love you. And for a good reason. Nobody could ever love such a piece of trash. You could die and nobody would care. Nobody would, wow, this, seriously, that's harsh. These are... <sighs> Narrative, man, jeez. No, we would, we would notice, because we'd have to find another sh head to pick on. You are replaceable. Just die already. You'll kill yourself. I wish you were dead. Why don't you just go out and cut yourself some more, and continue to run around crying for attention? You're just an annoying loser, born by mistake. Your life was a mistake, and a big one at that. Just die already. Holy crap. Just die already? Just die already. That was really weird. I wonder who that man was, and why he was acting so strange with his riddle and all that. Well, it might just be best just to push ahead. Then maybe I'll... I see more of those push puzzles. You've got to be kidding me, right? Alright, I'm guessing in this tent. Maybe I'll lie down for a bit. Yeah, maybe in the tent we'll get to save. So, we'll save there, guys. Hmm, it's still dark. I think we'll save it there. And we will call it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe down below. Um, starting to think, though, that... Um, Maybe this whole world is kind of, she, maybe she did do something, maybe she is in some sort of coma, but I'm sure the story will unfold as we continue to play. But until next time, I've been Nock, you've been awesome. See ya.